Hello, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members. John Eleven Hot here. I'm just on my way home from from uh, getting some something from uh, the store. It's like a late night snack and everything. And you know, so far I basically well, I haven't quite posted any videos yet because I gotta go through them first to see how I like them and how. Ooh, excuse me. And see how they what you call it, you know, like how they how they work with me and make sure you know, now <clears throat> now I don't know uh, like I don't know um why the other videos didn't get a copyright which quite it's probably because I always post uh all copyrights or go to the gaming companies and stuff like that and such. Um I did make like one little mistake with uh, DuckTales, uh, DuckTales music where I was like karaoke singing it with, nah, like singing it, singing it, you know, out loud with the music playing in the background, of course. So that was a copyright right there. Why that happened, I don't know. Maybe I should have wrote all uh, which quotes of Disney and DuckTales or a copyright to blah, blah, blah. I don't know. But anywho... Um, the, you know, I might have a slight delay on a video that I'm working for Halloween this week, which is on Thursday. But it might not probably be in until, like, probably November 1st or whatever. <clears throat> um, the project's going to be very good. I can't give out specific details of what it's going to be. All I can basically say is, well, I could probably give you, like, a little bit of, a uh, spoiler about it but you know but it's gonna be you know, it's gonna be pretty good um I'm gonna be using my PlayStation 3 for it um there's gonna probably be a lot of uh problems I'm gonna notice in the video so I might not even do it when I you know, like not even post it on uh YouTube or anything like here on YouTube um <clears throat> but other than that um like I hope it turns out fine um, uh, you know, like, I, you know, like, I'm thinking about probably sometime, uh, next, you know, like, next month in November or December doing a, you know, like, a live stream, you know, like, you stream video. It's going to be, like, it, you know, like, from whatever time to whatever time. I basically haven't thought of when the witch call it, but, you know, like, I got my you stream account fixed because I couldn't get into it, you know, like, uh, it was, like, really hard. But you know, like, uh, you can find, you, know, like, you can find um, my UStream account on UStream.com. Um, you know, like uh, for live live shows, you know, like um, I'll basically let my viewers know. Now, if you have a UStream account, you can basically talk to me during the video, like message me, and I'll point out the message of what you people, you know, like what you YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members. Um, would like to see you know, like what, what you would like to see me do because most of my videos are recorded I check them before I post them here on YouTube and not on that my uh, my what you call are unscripted like the what you call scene where you basically saw AI dresses me and stuff like that you know, like you know he had sunglasses and all that garbage you know, like that was a witch card, but you know, like mm, there's a little witch card. You know, like uh, AI basically didn't get kind of destroyed. I'm thinking of keeping him around as a mean villain of uh, my series. Um, but you know, like, it's gonna get worse. I you know, like uh, before it gets any better with that. You know, like with my my series and stuff like that. You know, like I'm working on YouTube videos uh, around the witch coin. Plus, I, I, at the same time, I have my private life, which kind of like, kind of you know, like my private life kind of interferes me making making these videos for you viewers. And of course, I get cookies, chocolate chips. Yep, chocolate chip cookies. And I'm changing the subject, which is something I do all the time in all my videos, mostly. Um. I'm kind of like up to date with uh, the top of the fourth wall, the plot, you know, like the plot, all the plots I basically watched. Oh my God, 
I watched the first bunch of plots. Um, I believe it was Saturday night. Oh my God. I didn't go to bed until like pretty much a little after three o'clock in the morning when I got up to the last plot, which was like plot, you know, the, you know, the plots that they basically have on the top of the fourth wall where Link Carr's character has all these bad guys. I had to like s skim through it. You know, like, but you know, like uh, the latest plot I basically saw and you know, I don't know if anybody know, you know, like saw his uh, last week's video where you know, like he disconnected Nimaway and then the whole entire ship got dark. Then it turned on and all the lights in the witch court and the ship was red. And of course, when you basically heard the voice that is very recognizable on a top of the fourth wall, the most evilest villain that you could basically think of. Yep, he's you know, he's back for a second time. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Lord Vice. Now, I basically saw this week's the top of the fourth wall when I got it on iTunes for the podcast. So I basically saw it. You know, like, um, if you got I like if you got an iTunes account, um, you can basically get all the videos that he basically made. Um, if you missed out on them, well, that's your, you know, that's basically a, what you call it. But, you know, I've been basically keeping tabs on what you call it. And, you know, one of the things I would love to basically do is I would like to be part of, you know, like part of um, a top of the fourth wall, but, you know, like be like a character that basically works alongside Vice. I mean, Lord Vice has basically had Megacara and Dr. Linksano, you know, team, you know, like, um, working with Lord Vice. But what if somebody that Linkara doesn't even know is working alongside side Lord Vice and tries to backstab Linkara, but in the end, the betrayer becomes an ally, just like all the other ones have. But what if Ward Vice basically did something to corrupt him? Meaning, like uh, the character that I'm thinking of putting in and stuff like that. But it would be cool to basically be part of the Top of the Fourth Wall series. It really would. To be like seen in the, what you call it, you know. <clears throat> like, because there's a lot of things that Linkara basically doesn't mention. Yes, he's got a mag magic gun. Where the hell he purchased that? Um, well, nobody knows except if you get the DVD, which I don't, you know, like I don't own, I don't have. But it would be great to what you call that. They basically know where he got the magic gun, the magic gun's origins. I mean, if I made a story where I'm the champion of the universe or whatever or the world, and I'm trying to fight all these villains and stuff. I basically say, like, okay, if they ask me, really, where did you get that weapon from? I would say it's a long and very tiring story. And I would tell them that, like, I got this weapon from, you know, like, one day I was basically reviewing something, and then when I got done, it just was there. But, you know, that doesn't make kind of any sense, so... That'd be like uh, in car saying, "Oh, I purchased that at a garage sale. I don't know what you know, like something drawed me to it or something." Now, there's a lot of what you call you know, like. Now, here's something like I was gonna say before. I, you know, I could just popped in my head about an origin for a weapon story. Um, where you know, I'm, I'm trying to think. Got to remember, I don't work with scripts here. I you know, like I freelance. Um, what if, well, I would work with a script if I was given one, but I would have to try to memorize it over and over, and there's so much my head can take, um, but enough of that, um, god damn, oh yes, now, Linkara basically says in his series, he knows magic and stuff like that, because of the, what you call it, but, what if, what if, uh, 
Dr. Link Sino was to say, Inkara, don't you know that there's something called alchemy? Which, duh, everybody basically knows alchemy is another kind of scientific kind of magic. It's basically elemental kind of thing where it's got to be balanced to certain things and stuff like that. Now, I would basically throw that in my series if I basically wanted to, but I prefer not to. But, you know, um, it would be great to basically hear them mention something about alchemy. Because alchemy is a, like, is a kind of mystical science, but it's also, like, it also has witch court, you know? Yeah, like, uh, but it's like really great to basically see the series from the beginning where he first started out and all the villains he basically fought like uh, Dr. Insano, um, Megakara, Dr. Link Sano, who turned out to become a great, awesome, funny guy character in the series. But the one thing though is it would be great to basically know more about the other characters. Like, where did he meet Iron Liz? I mean, was it his, you know, like, was it... And we don't basically see certain characters from the previous se you know, like se seasons from uh, Top of the Fourth Wall. I'm going to basically have to end this video because I'm almost home. And I'm almost, uh, well, I can talk like a few more minutes until I get to, you, to, get to my corner of what, my block until I, you know, I can tell you what you call them. But, you know. It would be great to basically know more of the characters, like, where did Linkara meet 90s kid? Uh, and here's another thing. We don't even see ninja-style dancer anymore. But we do see a lot of, uh, well, we do see a lot of 90s kid and Dr. Link Sano and Harvey Fine Voice. And, you know, and, of course, pa Poyo. Which is a little robot guy with, you know, that always wants working arms. Um, but, you know, like, it would be great to basically know each of the characters' storyline. Because that's what kind of, like, throws me off. Um, you got 90s kid. Where the hell did he come from? I mean, was he Linkar's roommate? That would be an awesome, uh, what you call it, an awesome idea. But where did Iron Liz come from? Where'd she go? And stuff like that, you know? Um, and, you know, we already know that he bumped into Harvey Fine Voice when you basically saw last year's the Top of the Fourth Wall Christmas thing throughout the whole entire month where we basically find out more about Harvey Fine Voice. Uh, he was trying to go to a cemetery to see his, you know, like his, um, the son that he lost years ago. And he never went there. And, you know, it, yeah, it, 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 it's like a Christmas carol type thing. But you would have to see that um, much more. But it's like really good. Um, I'm going to end this video because I'm almost over my amount of minutes of making this video. Because I can't go over 15 minutes or I'm not going to be able to post it. But until the next time, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members and comic book reviewers and game reviewers or such. This is John 11 Hot saying, Cookies! <laughs>